The provincial government of Camarines Norte is not taking any chances as they gear up to evacuate around 50,000 residents within the day. This in preparation for the intensification of severe tropical storm Ulysses into a typhoon. And to give us the latest situation from the ground, we have Marian Enriquez reporting live from Camarines Norte. Marian, what do you have for us? We arrived last night here in Camarines Norte. We were welcomed by light to moderate rains. But this morning, as a severe tropical storm Ulysses closes in on the province, we've been experiencing a stronger winds and torrential rains, and we expect that this would further intensify later this afternoon. Initially, based on the track, Ulysses was supposed to make a close-in or landfall over the northern part of Camarines Norte. But based from Pagasa's latest update on their 8 a.m. bulletin, the track of Ulysses shifted upward, now expected to make a direct landfall over Polillo Islands and mainland Quezon. This may be good news for residents of Camarines Norte, but the provincial government will not take it easy as violent winds and rains are already being experienced in the area. Over 8,000 individuals or 1,200 families have already been evacuated yesterday. And the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office said they are expecting to evacuate at least 50,000 individuals within the day. Earlier today, while traveling to the town of Vinzons, we passed by a family in Palisay. Their house has been damaged since Quinta and their roofs have been ripped off by Raleigh. No appliances of theirs survived the previous typhoons. Now they are preparing to evacuate before Ulysses intensifies by afternoon. At 8 a.m., the local government of Daet has implemented a forced evacuation to its residents living the coastal and low-lying areas. There is a high risk of storm surge with heights of up to three meters over the coastal areas of Camarines Norte. The Weather Bureau said that given the likelihood of intensification into a typhoon in the next 12 to 24 hours, tropical cyclone wind signal number three may be raised over several provinces in the Bicol region. And authorities are imploring residents who are living in low-lying and coastal areas to heed their order and evacuate now. And Marian Enriquez, uh, live from Camarines Norte.